Well guys, I'm going to make me an apple pie tonight. That's going to be a different video. Um, I'm going to make a, a dirty old redneck friggin' um, a meatloaf. So I got all this stuff. I got my venison uh, thiolating and the uh, thing. And I got some beef to uh, mix with that. And I'm also going to make some uh, spinach friggin' stuff. It's really decent. It's like unbelievably good. You'll have to just friggin' make it and it's super easy to make. So yeah, we got all the all the stuff for the uh, apple pie and uh, stuff like that. So uh, but first we're making a dirty old redneck meatloaf. Okay, so I'm just cutting up got one of these dirty old red onions. We got bacon cooking in the uh, frying pan there for friggin' uh, the thing we've got one of these dirty old red onions and look guys I'm using a friggin cutting board eh it's the one my, my buddy got me so you just want to dice up these onions nice I'm probably gonna make two so I'll use a, a whole onion or whatever so okay so I've got my new uh, knives got for my birthday they work awesome and stuff but uh, cut up some garlic here a lot of times uh, people have trouble getting skin off them guys, so one good way of doing it is put your knife on there like that, give them a little bang, and then the skin comes right off, eh? just like that. So we'll chop up that and uh, get it in with the uh, the rest of the stuff. So I got the onions in, in with the bacon there, saute and all that stuff up good. So we'll get, uh, get this stuff in there and show you what it's like. Okay, so basically what we've done so far is just uh, chopped up the uh, bacon, put it in there, we cut up some onions, uh, we just want, you know, you don't need to fully cook this stuff, it's going to cook in the oven with the meat anyway, but just want to caramelize the onions a little bit and get the garlic in there and, uh, and then shut it off and sort of let it cool down so you can get your, your mitts in there when you mix it up with the, uh, the stuff there. Just put a friggin' egg into it and a uh, pack of uh, onion soup mix, that's what I sort of like, and um, get a uh, little bit of uh, um, breadcrumbs, and uh, just enough to sort of help everything stick together, just a good uh, pop or two, handful, whatever. And uh, get your hands in there and mix it all up and uh, stuff her in a pan. Well, this is the time you can sort of empty out your fridge. We had a little bit of friggin' mustard left. Sweet, sweet and heat mustard. So we put some of that in. Can't forget the Worcestershire sour sauce. And so she's all mixed up now. And uh, the old lady doesn't like uh, too spicy, but I do. So I'm going to put... Uh, this uh, jerk barbecue sauce on the top of mine and she's just gonna put ketchup on, on the top of hers so we'll get all this crap fired in these two pans here and, uh, and then we'll make the uh, side dish spinach uh, side dish there so this is sort of what you're after you just want to get uh, one little box I mean for two of us one's lots little box of uh, chopped spinach and uh, just your regular um, Philadelphia cream cheese uh, you can get uh, you know friggin urban garlic cream cheese or flavored or whatever but we're gonna sort of add our own spice into that um, right here this stuff here friggin uh, roasted garlic and pepper uh, spice there and um, yeah so another thing I got for my birthday that was pretty neat was a salt and pepper shaker you just sort of squeeze the guy and it's like you know I'll tip it over this and that's pretty neat so um, yeah, I'll show you how that's done in just a second. Okay, so what we like to do is uh, just salt and pepper the top of it, put it in the oven for about, uh, you know, 375 for maybe half hour, so just to, maybe 45 minutes to just to cook it a little bit, and then we'll put our, our uh, topping, whatever, ketchup or garlic or whatever on there. So just uh, salt and pepper them up, and... Uh, and I'll show you what's uh, what's going on. This, this is what the uh, spinach looks like here. No, it doesn't look too tasty now, but I'm telling you, it's friggin' wicked stuff. So. 
Okay, so once you have uh, thawed out your your uh, spinach, it looks like friggin' wet grass. But uh, you just want to pull up in your uh, your stuff. And if you've seen my uh, Thanksgiving video, you've seen uh, you've seen this. You don't need it all, but I like lots. But you've seen this. Uh, my mom's friend uh, made this. Uh, it's really good. That's where I got the recipe from. But you know, give her a good gurgle of this uh, roasted garlic and pepper stuff, you know. I like lots of that. And, uh, <laughs> well, uh, you know, you just, oh, oh man, you just mix it up. You know, this is a pain in the ass for me because i got to freaking hold myself up, but you get the point, so I'll give that a mix and, uh, and then just fire it in, uh, fire it in this guy. And, um in the oven you only want to put this about uh, 350 for about half hour if you make two you know you want to probably go about 45 minutes but uh, yeah that's how you do that okay so next you want to just dump on some uh, breadcrumbs you don't want her too thick just like a, a nice layer but one thing I forgot to mention um, you want to thaw and really dry your spinach because you know, it's just really soaked. What I do is I take paper towels and sort of, you know, squish the water out of it with that sort of thing. So, yeah, that's it. You know, just get a little pan, a little dust on top with some crap there. And, you know, we got the, the meatloaf in the oven um, already. So, uh, uh, you know, when the meatloaf's almost done, we'll fire this in for the last half hour. And we'll turn the, turn the stove down to like 350. And, uh... And we'll drill her in. So it was a little greasy. Normally I would just drink that, but I'm watching my figure. Uh, but you can see it friggin' separated, eh? That's crazy. But uh, yeah, so we just friggin' took the old turkey antler out and friggin' uh, did that. So girlfriend likes the, the ketchup, and uh, I like that the little spicy stuff there. So, uh, and the good thing about this is uh, it'll make good uh, sandwiches for lunch for the next two or three days. You know, whoa, that comes out of there pretty good. But uh, yeah, so, and uh, there's about a half hour, you know, I'll leave that in there for another half hour, and then we will fire in the, um, this crap here, and uh, get that sort of uh, cookulating up and, uh, and then it'll be friggin' supper time and then uh, we'll start, we'll gobble that back and we'll make the apple pie. Okay dudes, so uh, this is the one with the spicy friggin' crap onto it and this is the one with the ketchup quite clearly and uh, this this stuff was uh, done there. So what we did was we put, uh, waited till there was about half an hour left of this and we put the stuff on and then we fired this stuff in there and uh, yeah, so there she is. And uh, remember, if you ate today, take a part of it. Well, it's the next day, and I got me a couple slabs of uh, dirty old meatloaf, and it's lunchtime, so I'm going to make myself a sandy. So I'll set the camera down here, put some mustard on my bread. Well, actually, I'll put the friggin' meatloaf on the, on the bread first. Oh, yeah, this is awesome. A little honey mustard. Ah. And with my new salt and pepper shaker. Put a little of this crap on there. Oh yeah, decent. Yeah, so there you go guys. Friggin' lunch the next day. Perfect.